Hello friends, welcome to AD Dictation. So here we come with a new legal passage. You will find journal dictations in the playlist. These dictations are important for upcoming exams of lower and high courts. If you find this channel is helpful, then please subscribe and share with your friends. To receive instant updates of upcoming videos, please hit the bell icon. If the video helps you in your preparation, then please give it a thumbs up. It will motivate us to upload more dictations. All playlist links are in the description below. Please check it out. Let's ready. 5 seconds. Start. It is to be noticeable that Honorable Supreme Court, while laying down the law that in contempt jurisdiction no positive mandatory direction can be issued outside the scope of the order which is being alleged to have been violated by the authorities, has elaborately observed therein that the purpose of contempt jurisdiction is to uphold majesty and dignity of the courts of law. It has further been observed that the Contempt of Courts Act has been introduced for the purposes of securing the feeling of confidence of the people in general for true and proper administration of justice in the country. Honorable Supreme Court has further held that it is to be kept in mind that the court while exercising the jurisdiction to punish for contempt does not function as an original or appellate court for determination of the disputes between the parties and thus contempt court is not entitled to enter into questions which have not been dealt with and decided in the judgment or order violation of which is alleged. The ratio of the said judgment of Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Rakesh Prasad within Bracket Supra is not being disputed by the Land Council appearing for the respondents and in my opinion as well it cannot be disputed. It is not in dispute that the contempt court cannot grant any substantive relief or issue any direction in respect of the same without proper adjudication of the dispute. If any such mandatory direction is issued, which is outside the scope of the order or judgment which is said to have been violated, such a direction would be without jurisdiction and would not be binding. Para. Having observed as above what needs to be considered in the facts and circumstances of the case is as to whether the direction issued by the Honorable Contempt Judge in the order dated 9-4-2012 directing the Basic Education Officer Ambedkar Nagar to continue with single-hand operation of the salary account can be termed to be a direction without jurisdiction adjudicating upon an issue or it would be construed only to be a direction issued in the aid of the High Court for ensuring compliance of its order dated 14-12-2011. The circumstances in which the order dated 9-4-2012 was passed by the Honorable Contempt Judge have been noticed in the said order itself. At the cost of reputation, it may be observed that even after passing of the order on 26-3-2012 directing therein single-hand operation of the salary account payment of salary to the teaching and non-teaching staff could not be ensued and in fact a dispute arose during the court proceedings before Honorable Contempt Judge on 9-4-2012 when the check as presented by the basic education officer was returned back to him noticing the dispute between two managers. In such a situation, I am of the considered opinion that the direction issued by Honorable Contempt Judge for continuance of the single hand operation of the salary account in the order dated 9-4-2012 was not a direction issued by the court on its own. Para. It may also be noticed that on 9-4-2012 when the order was passed by Honorable Contempt Judge at least two writ petitions namely writ petition numbers 1081 within bracket capital M slash capital S of 2011 and 1244 within bracket capital M slash capital S of 2011 were pending which in fact are still pending. 
where substantively the issue raised is in respect of the dispute concerning management of the institution. Keeping in view pendency of the aforesaid read petitions, it was only observed by the contempt judge in his order dated 9-4-2012 that single hand operation already made by the district education officer Ambedkar Nagar would continue till disposal of the read petitions pertaining to the dispute of genuine manager of the college. Such a direction, in my opinion, cannot be construed or constituted as a fresh direction and hence would not fall in the category of any mandatory direction outside the scope of the jurisdiction available before Honorable Contempt Judge for ensuring compliance of the order dated 14-12-2011 passed by this court in read petition number 6299 within bracket capital S slash capital S of 2011 stop.